Okay, um, good afternoon, good evening YouTube in the UK, this is I'm Asparagus and Sphinxer279 uh, for my 14th tutorial. Um, in this one I'll be teaching you the basics of vertex manipulation because um, not many people really use it much. So uh, go ahead and choose your node draw um, and create a corridor I think we're going to have. which is 192 units wide and there we go. and you can stretch that as much as you like so stretch it to three of those so first you need a couple of walls so put one on that side at 128 units high and just copy that straight to the other side and I'm just going to texture this real quick with dev textures as always so the walls have that one Ooh. and for the floor have that one okay so this is our basic little coral now it's going to look really boring to walk down this in game so you're going to pretty up a bit. Now you can do this by um, vertex manipulation and that's what I'm going to show you. So go ahead and in front of your wall create a block which is 16 units wide and 48 long and half the height of the wall so 64 units high. And then create that, leave it in no draw if you want or whatever and then head over, head over to your vertex manipulation tool. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to drag out these little corners here so it looks like that now as you can see already that looks a lot more interesting so and then you're going to duplicate this upwards vertex manipulate again which I think I'm going to do this yep vertex manipulate again and choose that one and that one in 3D view hold control and I'll select them both and drag them down a notch and your wall will look like that now I'm going to drag them down a little further a lot further so then your wall looks like that really and then you can go ahead and texture this as well so I'm not going to spend like ages texturing it because there's no point but you can line up all the textures and everything that's the point, if somebody can teach me about aligning textures correctly because I don't really have a clue in all honesty really don't it's it's too confusing for me and it takes time to rotate it and everything and align up all this like if you go into here and you need to shift the y axis up to there so that looks normal and it's, it's too much hassle for me <sighs> Sorry. So you have your basic little thing there. So you just want to group those together and tie that. Press Control T and tie it to a funk detail because it's a fancy piece of architecture. So then you're going to copy and paste that across. Control L to horizontally duplicate it. And then you can place these down your corridors at like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that is roughly 80 units away I suppose and there one two three one two that's the annoying thing whatever but yeah they make your levels look a lot a lot prettier and uh Yeah, I'm just 
just run it. If I apply this little face on here, you can see the face in game. Experiment with the textures as well, just to see how nice you can make it actually look. Because, yeah, if somebody can like tell me how to, because I'm not the best mapper in the world, I just like doing tutorials. So if somebody could tell me how to um, make a nice looking uh, textures which actually align correctly and everything, that would be much appreciated. And all I'm going to do now is just descend the floor a bit just so I can add a info underscore play underscore start. Rotate him or you or whatever. And then I'm just going to add a wall around the map. Which is what I always do. Uh, now, walls as well, you can. Vertex manipulate these bastards as well. I'm going to have a little wall like that. Walls, uh, what I always do for walls, if if you have a square room, I always bring the corners, outer corners, in, or out, sorry, like that. So then, when you bring them over and flip over using control I, then it will look actually really nice and professional. If you vertex manipulate the sides as well, to bring them up like that. So you have almost done. The hell. Draw L. Now it looks a lot better. In my opinion, anyway. But, um, go ahead and text this one. And then just duplicate it upwards. So I can have a skybox. To sky. Sorry if this isn't very interesting, but it's necessary. And then I just need to make a little flap on top. And remember, whenever testing a map. Always compile with your light on. So that means all oh the got no draw up here, that's not good. And on the outside, get rid of that. Get rid of no draw everywhere. Because otherwise it does bad stuff to your map. Well, not really bad but stuff. Okay, so that's your basic map and I'm just gonna chuck in a light underscore environment up there. Make sure it's not inside the map in any way, like that. Oh, and enter for the properties, change the colour to a light yellow, brightness of around 75, and point it where you want the lighting to be directed. Okay, so I'm just going to run this map after saving it as vertex, for example, and let that compile. Oh, come on, compile quick, because this has been going for 8 minutes and 42 seconds. There we go, that's compiled. I'll just go and test this in-game, soon in a second. Okay, so here we are in-game, and I'm just going to load the map. Hey, hey! See, now that looks a lot nicer. I mean, seriously. So much nicer. Oh, I forgot to align the textures that side. Oh, that's okay. You can align the texture in your own time. But look at that. And the player walks into it, slides off, slides off, slides off. See, and that's, that's all there is to it. It's really nice. Um, in another tutorial, I'll go into more advanced vertex manipulation work. But uh, this has been tutorial number 14, and I shall see you later.